up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar and today I got a good one in store for you. Today we are going to be comparing the Niche Zero Retention Grinder and we are going to be comparing it to the Breville Barista Express Built-in Grinder. Does it stand up to the Niche? Does it not stand up to the Niche? Is it worth just buying this? I'll answer that in the video to come. Roll it! espresso bar and like I mentioned earlier we are going to be comparing the niche zero retention grinder and the Breville Barista Express built-in grinder is it worth having just the built-in grinder as an all-in-one package with the Barista Express or should you invest more money and buy yourself a better grinder that's going to be a lot more beneficial in the future well I will definitely uncover that in this video so let's go to pulling some shots and dialing in our medium to dark roast espresso beans. Today, we are gonna be using Intelligentsia's medium to dark roast black cat espresso. I definitely recommend this. I bought it at my local Meyer store. Um, I definitely like it because it has a roast on date. Is it the freshest? Um, depending on the roasted on date that you find, uh, you have to watch out. Some of them are fresher than others. However, this one is about a month old now. Uh, I actually bought it about two weeks ago. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to dial in the beans, but I am here to help you guys and I am going to try to dial it in perfectly. So I will be doing it with the Barista Express built-in and also the Niche Zero Retention Grinder. We're gonna be looking at how uniform the grind is. Is there a lot of clumps in the grinder when the grinds come out? And also looking at zero retention. So what is zero retention? Zero retention is when you are grinding your beans, if you dose in 18 grams, you wanna get 18 grams back out because you wanna stay consistent as possible when pulling your shots of espresso. Consistency is key, my friends. So stay consistent and you'll be really happy with the process and with the progress you receive down the road. So zero retention, you wanna get the same dose in as you get out or the same dose out as you get in. So what we are going to look at is the niche, is the Niche Zero Retention Grinder truly a zero retention grinder? We will see that and a whole lot more. And we will also see how does this compare to the Niche when we're looking at zero retention. And we're also going to be diving into that when we pull our shots of espresso. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pull our shots. So when going through the process of comparing both grinders, we are going to be using the same dose. And I am not going to declump either one to get rid of the clumps that are inside of the porter filter basket because I wanna see the shot quality when just grinding it straight from the grinder to the porter filter basket. And we're just gonna compare them so that way they have an even chance and we're gonna see what happens. So without further ado, let's get making our shots. So when doing the comparison, we are going to be using this machine to pull the shots for the built-in grinder. And we're gonna be using this machine back here when pulling shots for the niche. So, without further ado, let's get it.
All right, guys, so we just pulled that shot of espresso, and based off the crema that it came out with, I mean, that's a really good shot. The time that it came out, so we yielded 40 grams, which is preferred for 17.5 grams. You yield 40 grams out for the bag. And then we got that shot in 25 seconds. So, I mean, based on the time and the yielding of the shot, that's a perfect shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Really good crema up top. We're just gonna go ahead and mix that around uh, just to kind of mix that crema in because the crema, in my opinion, is a little sour. So we're gonna try this and see how it is. Very good. So definitely, uh, right now we are on grind setting. I just got really lucky. We are on grind setting 23 on the niche. And I would say that that's the perfect grind setting for the current beans that I am using right now. Now with your niche at home, it may be different. It varies on beans and it varies how old your beans are as well. And it also depends on if you don't do single dosing and if you have a Brevo Barista Express, if you just stockpile this thing uh, with a lot of beans, the issue with that is the machine gets hot. So the heat from the machine comes into the bean hopper. And what happens is it stales your beans a lot faster. And also something that I will show you guys, I am a big fan of single dosing. And that is one great thing that I love about the Niche Grinder. Not only is it a single dosing machine, however, it's also zero retention. So when I showed you guys, I dosed out 17.5 grams. When I yielded out, I got 17.6 grams. So you might be asking, well, why the 0.1 extra? Well, Niche, actually claims to have zero retention plus or minus 0.1 or 0.2. So based off what we saw here, I mean, they're spot on. When using the grinder, you can definitely tell that you get in what you get out when it comes to dosing. So now we are going to turn to the Breville Barista Express and the built-in grinder, and we'll try to dial it in. I may not get as lucky as I did with the niche on the first try, but we will definitely try, and if not, we will dial that in for you with the perfect shot. But like I said, this is a great shot, and it tastes very sweet and uh, not sour or bitter. And I, this is definitely something that I could drink, and I am not a huge fan of espresso. I'm more of a fan of a milk-based beverage, but I can tolerate and drink this shot of espresso. It's not even that bad. So now we're gonna go to the Breville Barista Express, do the same process, and see if it is clumpy and see what kind of retention that grinder actually contains or retains and we're going to compare the both but as you saw with the niche zero grinder i mean when it came out it came out pretty uniform and when it came into the cup as you can see there is not a lot of clumps i mean there may be one or two small clumps that's no big deal when you have a distribution tool and you tamp it and it just worked out perfectly. So without further ado, let's get to the Braille Barista Express.
So as you guys just saw, that shot was extremely fast. So when comparing the Niche and the Breville Barista Express built-in grinder, what you saw was there was a couple more clumps from the Barista Express built-in grinder than the Niche. And also a huge thing that you saw was we dosed in 17.6. Because we dosed in 17.5 for the Niche and we got 17.6 out. So when I started my dosing, I dosed in 17.6 grams into the Breville Barista Express built-in grinder. And what I yielded was 17.2. So what does that mean? So that means that 0.4 grams were retained in the Bravo Barista Express grinder. Now, this is a huge deal when trying to make perfect espresso because consistency is key. If you wanna pull that perfect shot of espresso, you need to stay consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. Beans are always changing and that's already a variable that's added in each and every day when trying to pull that perfect shot of espresso. So you wanna make sure that the things you can control, you can and will control on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is staying consistent on what you're dosing in and what you're getting out. So with that, that 0.4 grams plays a huge role when pulling your shot of espresso. Even though you're still distributing and tamping the same way with both grinders, the problem is, is that 0.4 grams is gonna make a big difference when pulling that shot of espresso. So uh, as you guys saw, that shot came out extremely fast. And right now, my inner burr setting is set at four and my outer burr setting is set at three. So what that's telling me is I need to probably go down to one to get that perfect shot. This, I got 40 grams in about 15 seconds. So that's extremely fast and this shot is gonna be extremely bad. I don't even wanna taste it, but I'm gonna taste it for you at home just to show you guys how bad it is. Oh yeah, that's bad. Um, extremely bitter. Uh, that's not a shot that you're gonna wanna drink. Now, if you mix that with a milk-based beverage, it's definitely gonna be doable if you add a lot of sugar and you try to hide that. But when you just drink any kind of Americano, that's probably gonna hide it a little bit as well. But when you just drink straight up espresso, uh, I don't, but if you do at home, you're not gonna wanna drink this. You're just gonna wanna pour this down the sink because that's where it's meant to be. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the drawing board and we're gonna go down to probably setting one. And what does that mean? One is the finest setting possible for the Brow Brisa Express built-in grinder. However, don't be scared because internally, you can change that four to five or whatever you have internally set so like, let's say I'm at setting five internal and I'm at one external. Well, that means that I'm at the finest setting for that inner burr setting that I'm at right now. However, what Breville did was they allow you to change that internal grinder. So if you're at five and you're at one on the outside, you can change that to maybe three on the inside. And now you're looking at like four or five. So it gives you that room to play when trying to dial in that perfect shot of espresso. So now without changing the inner burr setting, we're gonna to try to go on setting one, so at the finest setting for the internal setting that we're at now, and we're gonna see what happens with this shot. So stay tuned and we are going to pull that shot of espresso now, and hopefully it is good.
All right guys, so what you guys just saw was how fast that shot still came out. And we are on number one. So what does that mean? So whatever burst setting is in the inside, we need to go in and move that down in order to dial in this shot of espresso to the best that it could possibly be. Was the shot awful? No. So we got 40 grams in about 20 seconds. So I like to be around 22 to 28, more of the middle range, like 24 or 25 seconds when I pull my shots. Um, the crema on here looks pretty good, if you guys can see that. I mean, the crema looks good, but I definitely would go in and change the inner burr setting and I would definitely be able to dial it in a lot better. Uh, I will definitely do that in another video and show you guys how to change that inner burr setting and that video will be soon to come, so that way it'll help you guys at home dial in the best shot of espresso possible. Uh, however, in this video, we were comparing the Niche Zero Retention Grinder and the Breville Barista Express Built-in Grinder. And what we saw was very shocking. So when Niche claims that they have zero retention, I mean, it is almost spot on. So you're gonna get the best results every time because of the zero retention and also because of how uniform the grinds, the coffee grinds go into the porter filter basket. And there's hardly any clumps. So you don't have to get any kind of tool. I know they make tools just for declumping. I just use this little stylus here, but I didn't use it with the Braille Barista Express today because I wanted to show the comparison, a true comparison of the niche and the built-in grinder. Now, yes, it is comparing apples to oranges when it comes to comparing the two grinders because this is considered a commercialized grinder as opposed to the Breville Barista Express. It is more of an appliance. Uh, I know that's a bad word to use. However, when it when it's stacked up against the niche, it just does not compare. Um, however, if you guys do just have a Barista Express and you have the built-in grinder, it is perfectly fine. You can change that, like I said, you can change that inner burr setting and you can dial that bean in so much more to get that perfect shot and you'd have the best shot possible. Now, was that the best shot possible? No. So like I said, we're gonna have to change that inner burr setting and you will get that perfect shot at that point. However, we're gonna give this a little taste test here and just see. So the creme was nice. There's a lot of crema in there. And uh, I mean, it wasn't bad but it's not the perfect dialed in shot as well. But as you would notice with the Barista Express built-in grinder, you're gonna have to declump it. I mean, it just is what it is. So when you don't declump it, it's gonna go into the porter filter basket very ununiform. And that's gonna be very bad for you when trying to get that perfect shot of espresso because you're gonna get a lot of channeling. And what I pointed out in that video was showing the porter filter basket with the coffee grinds in it. And there was a little holes inside the basket. So even when I distributed it and it was looked level, there were still those little holes. Well, that's gonna create channeling. And channeling is very bad when trying to pull that perfect shot of espresso because it's gonna be either an over or an under extraction. So you're gonna get where that channeling is, that water is gonna flow through that puck that much faster in those areas. And it's gonna make for a more sour or bitter shot. So you wanna make sure that you have the most uniform grind as possible, and you wanna make sure that it's even and level throughout the entire basket when you're pulling your shot of espresso. So, like I said, this video was com all about comparing the Breville Barista Express built-in grinder and the niche. If you have that extra money laying around, is it worth upgrading? Even if you have the Barista Express built-in grinder? Absolutely. Now, is it a must-have? No, it is a great, addition to a coffee bar. However, this is totally fine. The built-in grinder is definitely one of the better grinders that I've seen, especially for an all-in-one unit like the Barista Express. Breville did a great job when designing their burrs. So these two are both chronicle burrs. And so when you go from a chronicle burr to a flat burr, you can bring out different flavors in that coffee bean. These are both Chronicle Burrs, so I think it was a great comparison. And if you guys are in the market and looking for a grinder, I would say the Niche is a perfect duo with the Barista Express or any kind of Breville machine that you may have. So when comparing, 
it's not even a comparison but if this is what you have it is perfect i use the built-in grinder a lot and i love it i've been using it for about a year now and i actually just got the niche and i've been using it now for about a week or so and i absolutely love it but i love the built-in grinder as well i'm rambling on so let's go ahead and try this shot here so not bad like i said you can dial it in a lot better however this shot's not bad especially when going into a milk based beverage you won't even be able to tell and it is a great way to serve some espresso but as always my name's dylan with dylan some espresso bar and if you are in the market for a all-in-one espresso machine the breville barista express you just can't go wrong I mean, it is fantastic. Breville did a great job. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. Just me, honest reviews, and telling you guys at home some good advice that if you want to follow, perfect. If not, that's fine as well. However, I want to create this channel and make it a family channel. I want us all to be able to talk to each other, help each other out, reach everybody around the world, and we're just going to help the community of coffee make great espresso from home it doesn't have to be the best but it's got to be good so without further ado my name is dylan with dylan some espresso bar and i thank you so much for watching peace